Hello guys, how you doing? So, I'm going to watch episode 21 of the third season of a certain scientific railgun today and this previous one was really crazy with this fight between Yumihia and uh, Frenta and uh, I'm still surprised to see that uh, uh, she ended up uh, surviving after that big explosion when Frenta placed those bombs inside of her mouth and even through those dolls to make that big explosion. Um, so yeah, that was quite something and uh, I mean, at that point I was um, already expecting her to be dead uh, but then afterwards she appeared um, uh, like with uh, those guys from school as well. So that was uh, a big surprise and now she has that, um, that gear to uh, like... I don't know how exactly to say it, but uh, that explosion, of course, of course, it messed uh, her whole uh, mouth and that whole area. Um, and now she has this um, this gear to to help um, her out. So even her voice is messed up and stuff. Um, but um, I don't know what exactly ended up happening with her. So this was moments before that big war that happens during the third season of uh, Index, um, and. Um, I remember that um, a lot of uh, them ended up dying, like uh, uh, that guy with the headgear, I believe he dies. Um, I think it was even Mugino who, who killed him. Um, I don't um, I don't remember um, about uh, Kakine. I believe he's still... Um, I think it was mentioned that he's, uh, they kept his brain or something. Like I'm not too sure, but uh, he's pretty messed up and uh, I think he's alive, but... Uh, not with uh, this um, actual body, um, and um, I don't, um, I don't remember about the girl in pink. I don't remember if she ended up dying or I don't remember much. I mean, I I will have to watch those um, those episodes again when there was that big war um, because it's hard to remember everyone who ended up dying or survived. So it's um, again something that I'm going to. Um, to look up um, after this uh, season and right now I just really want to see how this uh, current one is going to end and what's going to be um, this next situation because I'm expecting this to be over for now since uh, it was heavily implied that the final moments when they showed Saturn texting Frenta and not getting any replies um, that this was already after Frenta died so um, I still don't know if they're going to um, to show uh, Saturn learning about it because they finished it with uh, Weiharu coming to um, her house and uh, they were going to eat together and stuff so maybe they will show um, some conversation between them and Weiharu uh, telling her about Frenta um, but um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not so really can't wait to, um, to see what's going to happen during this um, next episode so, with this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start it! Is Misaka? Oh my god, she's remembering this! <laughs> she kept dreaming about that! Skana! I don't remember her. She's cute. This one, some company. Hmm. <laughs> That's really adorable. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah, she knows. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's going back to this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, she's not wrong. <laughs> really? Really, Misaki? She was the one doing it. <laughs> I actually thought it was the girl, the little girl saying it, like, because she wanted, just being innocent and stuff, and actually really smart. Oh, and that's how she learned about it. She's going to punish you for that. <laughs> And she does that. Oh no. Was it because of how big they are? <laughs> she was like so... So down because of it. Like the difference. Man, I love this so much. I was really wondering, like, was this going back to the bust? Upper again, like it was actually just Misaki messing with Misaka once again, like it's something she enjoys doing a lot, apparently. And it, I mean, it's really fun to watch these uh, these moments between them, even though it's not as fun to to Misaka, of course. I really like to see them together. And I keep saying this, but I, but I still wonder if they're going to show... If Saturn learned about um, what happened to, to Frenda or... If she doesn't know about anything, like... Frenda stopped replying and maybe Sutton just thought she didn't want to be with her anymore or something. Like, I don't know. So that's why I wanted more to be shown. Hmm. Once again. Hmm. It's her. Oh. She was affected by Misaki's power, right? Yeah, she is.
I wonder. Hmm. Trying to eat the ramen. <laughs> If it's really her, she's still thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Yeah, that review, that was... <laughs> She's not wrong. Cyborg test subject. Oh, so that's what they meant before. That's what the other guy meant. If the one there was actually... Holy... Just like that... Hmm. Generation of a soul. <laughs> really complicated stuff. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. She wants Misaka to do it. <laughs> hmm. Damn. Her hair. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Hey then. Oh, it's that girl from before, Mitori. And there's um, Dolly, her sister. I'm going to call her Dolly. Just to make it easier. That little butt, though. <laughs> oh. This is really crazy. Now it's about his soul. I feel like it get it keeps getting more and more complicated. Oh, look at that! Looking good. Going to infiltrate. Damn. <laughs> I mean, as long as they don't recognize you, that's good. Damn. She keeps leaving here. The other elf? Ooh. 
Man, this is so... Sir! He just jumped? With all of those mechanical parts. Hmm. Damn, they lost all of that. Doppelganger. I've seen that word before. I don't remember what exactly it means. But is that like a person with two souls or... Not too sure. Need to search afterwards. Holy... Man, this whole situation is so... confusing. Oh, Saki. It was a different one. Hmm. So that's what this is about. Becoming more clear. Hmm. Yeah. Going to act on her own. Oh, it's this one! Scavengers! 
Huge dump. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Hmm, that situation with the accelerator. What is their mission to stop? It was fun to watch these ones. They're really dangerous. So that's their mission, of course, to recover that cyborg. It was a bit confusing to, to understand all of this, but I feel like it became more clear during the like during these final moments, um, but yeah, I still don't remember, I'm actually going to just search it now, what doppelganger actually means. An apparition or double of a living person. It's basically like um, two people, right, like two persons, so it, with, um, like, I'm still not too sure, it's like two people who look exactly the same and are exactly the same or something. It's uh, still a bit confusing to me and just did a quick search to be a bit more sure about it, but I'm definitely going to make uh, some more research. Um, but yeah, as far as I understood, um, so there's this... Um, I still need to memorize uh, her name, I don't remember um, the name they mentioned and it would be a bit hard to find it now. But... It's like um, they are using her as um, a text a text subject, and they want um, to create um, like they they are experimenting with creating souls. So uh, it's like this uh, cyborg as this girl's uh, soul, or at least like her soul was used for this. So now she has um, her memories and stuff. It's still a bit hard for me to um, be completely sure about this. Um, but um, I think I understand um, a bit of it. So uh, now she is um, she she ran away from that place, and I believe that's why um, that's why this uh, original one. I'm going to call the original one and the cyber I, uh, cyborg. I guess um, I, I have a feeling that um, the reason why this original one was saying that it would be dangerous at some point um, is probably because of how um, this cyborg is going to eventually like learn about new things, right? So eventually it's going to learn about uh, how she's like in danger or something and uh, that there's this uh, shutdown system and everything and I don't know, it's just like the whole idea of this cyborg uh, eventually getting um, a will of its own and eventually um, like doing what uh, it just did, like running away and uh, acting uh, on its own. Um, so yeah, in the end it's still like some really complicated stuff and uh, it's uh, of course really hard for me to even explain um, what uh, I am thinking right now. Uh, but it's um, it doesn't um, erase the fact that this is really interesting and to see that uh, this is actually going to be um, like um, a thing now, like this whole thing about uh, like recreating uh, a soul and stuff, um, that's pretty crazy, but uh, I guess that at this point it doesn't really surprise me a lot because of everything uh, I have seen being done in this uh, Academy City. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's, I guess it also explains um, some of these um, things that show up during the opening, especially this part when uh, uh, this girl appears and uh, part of her face is like um, splitting or something. 
Um, so now it makes a lot of sense after all of this got explained. So that is, um, it's really, it's it's something that I really love. Like when um, things start uh, making sense and when these uh, dots are like uh, being connected, I guess. Um, and yeah, it was uh, also really fun to see these moments between Misaka and Misaki, of course. I mean, it's uh, just, um, I just love their relationship. And even though they're not exactly friends... Um, they do create some really good moments um, together, so that was definitely something I enjoyed um, a lot. Um, and uh, now they're helping um, each other out, or not like uh, helping each other out, but... Um, and I mean, in a way, it's, it's that. I mean, they're doing this, uh, um, like, for each other. Like, Misaka is going to help Misaki with this, um, and uh, Misaki promised her to... Um, to make um, to make to do something about um, her sisters and to make uh, this society uh, society um, accept all of them. So I don't know if that's still going to happen or not. If Misaki is um, going to end up doing that, um, but it would be really nice. I mean, just um, I just really want to to see all of the sisters uh, having. Um, like enjoying um, their life now and uh, having some uh, uh, fun moments uh, together and uh, with other people and uh, uh, like also while being accepted um, by the people uh, living here that's uh, like what um, th that would be something uh, really really helpful of course um, but yeah I don't know how things are going to happen and uh, I'm really curious uh, about it um, and yeah I'm going to watch um, some of the moments of this episode again just because uh, this um, all of these explanations about um, this soul and stuff that was still a, a bit confusing and I might still be wrong about uh, some of those things that's why I want to make them more clear before uh, watching more of this um, but yeah as I said it's already really interesting to see um, this happening and uh, hopefully Nothing too bad will happen because these Avengers are now being involved and that's uh, also interesting because I was wondering uh, when they were going to show up since they appeared during the opening. Um, so now it's going to be it's going to be it. So they're going to they have this mission of retrieving uh, um, that um, that cyborg um, and. Um, I don't know, they were talking about uh, how they failed this mission before, that was what we saw during the Accelerator season, I believe. And um, they, like the ones in charge, they said that if they mess up again, they will be like... Um, they mentioned stray dogs, but that's basically just saying that um, they wouldn't uh, be uh, called um, anymore. So uh, I don't know if um, that's going to end up happening or not, I mean... I still remember when I was watching them for the first time during that accelerator season um, and even though they were like doing some bad things and their mentality was also a bit wrong in my opinion like the way they were thinking um, it was still really fun to see them interacting with each other and uh, deep inside I wanted uh, to like them um, and maybe this situation will um, help with that so I'm not too sure since um, I don't know what they're going to do about um, this cyborg, like, what what I mean is, like, um, what's going to happen between um, all of them, like, the scavengers, the cyborg, Misaka, and uh, Misaki, and, like, pretty much everyone who's going to get uh, involved. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, definitely something I'm looking forward to, and just really can't wait to um, watch uh, what's going to happen during this uh, next episode. So, with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.